This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, what is the volume of a shoebox that has a length of 7 inches, a width of 4 inches, and a height of 6.5 inches? Again, on the actual ASVAB and PICAT, you won't have a calculator or reference sheet. For that reason, in addition to being able to work these questions out by hand, you also have to commit some of these basic formulas to memory. In this case, we're trying to find the volume of a shoebox, which is a rectangular prism. So its volume is going to be length times width times height. All right, so let's plug these values in. We know our length is 7 inches, our width is 4 inches, and our height is 6.5 inches. All we have to do is work this out to get our answer. And I'm going to do 4 times 6.5 off to the side to make this math very clear. So we have 6.5 times... Four. To make this math very easy to do, I'm going to rewrite six and a half as an improper fraction. Uh, again, my denominator of two is not going to change. To find my numerator, I'm going to do six times two, which is 12, plus one, which is going to be 13. So this is 13 over two times four. I can write four as a fraction by placing it over one. This enables me to cross reduce. More specifically, I can say two goes into two one time. 2 goes into 4 2 times. This is 13 over 1, which is 13, times 2 over 1, which is 2. 13 times 2 is going to be 26. And if you couldn't do that part mentally, you could always do it off to the side. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. So this becomes 7 times 26. And so as not to make a mistake, I'm going to do this math off to the side as well. Uh, 6 times 7 is going to be 42, so bring down a 2, carry a 4. 7 times 2 is uh, 14, plus 4 is going to be 18. So we can see the volume of our shoebox is going to be B, 182 cubic inches.